news. Apple has announced their new line of MacBook Pros with the all new Apple Silicon M1 Pro and M1 Max chip. You can get either the Pro or the Max chip in the 14 inch and 16 inch editions. Now this is the second iteration of the M1 chip which I have been using in a 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro and I absolutely love it. The M1 chips from last year totally exceeded my expectations so I'm really looking forward to how powerful these new machines are. I will be doing a lot of testing on both the 14 inch base model, a maxed out 14 inch and an almost maxed out 16 inch. And then to make things more complicated, we're going to bring in the 13 inch M1 from last year to compare it to all of these new guys. So lots of speed tests, lots of export tests for video creators out there in Premiere Pro and DaVinci. So if you want to see more videos on the M1 Pro and the M1 Max, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can get the latest videos. So we finally got our new MacBooks here in the flesh and I can't believe it, it's a wonderful day. tab here. Strong tab. Pop this off. And there it is. Wow, that's a really big Apple logo that they've put on there. But hey, big chips need big logos. Why don't we take this out? Put this over here. Got your MagSafe charger. I like that they brought back this MagSafe. Very nice. Inside here, stickers, documentation, and here's our charging block. This feels almost identical to last year's uh, M1 Pro 13 inch charging block. Maybe a little heavier, just to bring them both out for comparison. I've been editing videos for 15 years, and this has been a dream of mine to finally get a computer where the exports just fly out. You know, waiting, it can keep up with my creativity. Very nice. It's a nice touch. MacBook Pro. The weight, right off the bat, it kind of reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of a laptop from maybe 10, 12 years ago. Feet. I like these new feet. Anything to give some more airflow to this is going to be great. Open this up. Starts right up. And there we go. Looks amazing. I'm loving this keyboard already. No touch screen. This is like an old friend again. So as you can see, this is the silver version. I do have a space gray coming in the more maxed out version. So this is the, this is the base model. And I believe the only update I did to it was a $300 CPU GPU upgrade. Got our old friends again, HDMI. Definitely this guy, SD card reader. Hate the dongles, absolutely. And then uh, some more nice ports here. I also like the black mag, mag charger. That's a really big apple. That's the one thing I keep looking at. And let's also check out some of this notch behavior, how the notch works up here. It looks like, looks like my, it looks like my mouse from the home screen. Because it looks like right away, 
your mouse just kind of disappears into this notch right behind it. Goes right behind the green curtain and gets to play around and you don't get to see it. So I'm going to hook this up to a Blackmagic video recorder also and see what happens in the screen recording of this. So let's get this set up and going right now. And plugging into the new MacBook for the first time. Ooh, nice. Snug and secure. Now here is the real question. Will the video start coming out immediately? Yes, it does. Happy day. If I was filming an event and someone gave me this computer, I would be able to plug in straight into my video devices and be able to get a great signal right off the bat. Looks like it's coming in 1080, 60. Now when you plug in, I don't know if you guys saw this, but the whole screen gets pushed down a little and it's below the notch. So what you're recording, at least when you plug into this black magic, there's no notch up here. I'm seeing I'm seeing the I'm seeing the mouse moving freely. And you can see here that I mean the notch is way up there. So you can't even see it. So if you're pumping this out to another monitor through HDMI, you're not even going to see that notch. That notch, that notch is not going to be a problem. No nacho for you. If you want to see some more videos, we're going to be doing a lot more testing on the M1s, both the Pro and the Max chips. So definitely hit that subscribe button here in the corner down below and we can keep in contact because I'm just going to be cranking these out for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.